Um, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. Um, uh, this lecture is about vector uh, vector calculus, naman. So, ito yung dito yung introduction natin na binanggit ko last time na you will learn kung paano gamitin yung uh, del. And let's see, let's define a vector field. Um, gamit lang ako na ano. Ito. So, meron tayong vector fields na V as a function of it's a function of x, y, and z. And scalar field is a function na x, y, z then. So, we have v and uh, phi. And basically, itong mga to, uh, they can be differentiated with respect to spatial dimension. Ito yung x, y, and z. Okay? So, gradient, pinakauna dun, is del times uh, scalar field. So, we have phi here. So, wala itong dot how or x. Because it's scalar to, ba? So, let's see. So, ang gradient, ang physical, ang physical description niya is uh, describe niya lang yung change. Tandaan nyo, ba yung del is a derivative. So, change uh, ng scalar with respect to position. Okay? Kasi we are dealing with spatial dimensions. Okay? So, in three dimension, we often label yung mga um, Kamit lang ako ng pen. Yung coordinates as x1, x2, x3 or pwede mo rin sabihin niya x1 is x, x2 is y, and x3 is z. The reason why gumagamit ng uh, subscript na per one variable kung mapapansin nyo, x lang, is possible kasi na there are more than three dimensions. Okay? So, pag may x4 pa yan, pwede yan. Pero it doesn't mean na ano yan, uh, Depende lang kung ano interpretation natin. Okay? Mas madali kasi isulat sa summation, halimbawa, na x sub something lang, di ba? Kasi separate mo yung y, x, y, and z. Okay. So, ibig sabihin nito, we can define a scalar field, PR, and that is yung R natin, is equivalent sa uh, equation na ito. So, we have x sub 1, e hat 1, plus x sub 2, e hat 2, plus x sub 3, e hat 3. So, tandaan nyo dati, uh, diniscuss ko yung e hat, 1, 2, 3 are just unit vectors along those, those directions. So, we have for x, y, and z. And we know na yung j hat, sorry, yung j hat is for, particularly for e hat 1, oh, sorry, i hat pala yan, sorry. Yung i hat for e hat 1, j hat for e hat, e hat 2, and k hat for e hat 3. So, those are unit vectors along x, y, and z directions, respectively. So, ngayon, alam natin na we can differentiate ang isang function, di ba? So, we can differentiate uh, phi as a function of this variable. So, ang total derivative niya, uh, small d phi is here. Um, Nagyan ko lang ng ano. Ito. Okay. And para makuha yun, you need to get the partial derivatives. Okay, kasi di ba usually kapag single variable lang, function of a single variable, pwede natin isulat lang siya as dx dy. But y as a function of x. Di ba? However, in this case, um, three variables siya. So x, y, and z. So basically, this is just the sum of partial of that function with respect to x sub 1 times the total derivative of x sub 1 plus uh, partial derivative of that function, again, with respect to x2 times total derivative of x2. And lastly, we have partial uh, of that function with respect to x sub 3 and to multiply by total derivative of x sub 3. Okay? So, ganyan lang siya. I think naituro naman sa photo sa previous math uh, course niya. Okay. So, Pwede natin na isulat ang gradient uh, like this. So, alimbawa, um, you want to get yung bawa, that product ng gradient with respect to that direction. So, here we have uh, dp, sorry, delta gradient ta times or that product with respect to dr. Uh, with dr. So, ngayon, uh, kung mapapasan yung multiplication to, di ba? So, in uh, gradient natin, pwede natin ipaghiwalayin into three terms. So, we have dp 
with respect to the uh, sorry x1 and partial p with respect to x2 lastly partial p with respect to x3 and dx is just ito lang column vector ng x1 x2 and x3 okay so pwede natin kasing ipakita di ba i-rewrite lang natin yung hmm, dito kanina let's rewrite oh, sorry just rewriting this okay pwede siyang maging ganito have this particular uh, equation. Okay? And you can actually see na ano lang siya. Simple lang, di ba? Um, palitan mo lang yung x1, x2, x3, x, y, z. And yan. Yeah, it would be much uh, no, uh, familiar. Okay? So we can actually see here na yung uh, del natin is operating on a scalar quantity. And the result is a vector, as you can see. May tayo unit vectors along x, y, and z direction. So, kung makikita nyo actually, para lang siyang normal derivative. Tama? Kaso, since tatlo yung variable natin, kaya tinatawag siyang gradient. Uh, kung titanan nyo, kung, kung isang function lang naman yung nakadepende yung function natin, makikita nyo na itong partial dito is, could be just a total derivative. Tama? Kasi and yung unit vector is just kung nasa ang direction mo or anong function yung uh, kinukuha mong derivative. Okay? So, ganun siya. Okay. So, let's move on. So, based on that, pwede natin mapakita na Andel is a vector operator. Okay? Operator, I think familiar na kayo doon, di ba? So, vector operator siya kasi uh, it depends on direction then. So, we have um, unit vectors along x, y, and z. And you just need to get the derivative, partial derivative, with respect to all those variables. Okay? So, kung pwede natin dahil sa convention natin, papalitan lang natin yung e hat ng uh, i hat, e hat y ng j hat, e hat z ng k hat. So, ganyan lang siya. It the same, yeah, it's the same for me. So, depende na lang sa kung paano mga example or paano mo kayo, paano yung sinasolve niya. Okay? Kung makikita nyo rin, uh, del operates on scalar to produce a vector. And then, lagi siya nag-ooperate sa right side. So, del P here, okay? Hindi siya pwedeng, hindi siya equivalent sa P del. Okay? Ito, nag-ooperate siya sa function mo. Ito kabila, hindi. Walang yun na-ooperate yung del mo. Okay? So, hindi siya pwedeng ganun. Okay. Uh, excellent example. Um, is yung force. Alam natin na ang force is, ano ba? Derivative ng potential, di ba? However, yung mga sinosolve siguro nyo dati, usually one dimension lang, di ba? So, to, derivative lang yung kanawa natin. Ma, derivative of the potential, di ba? Usually, ang tinuturo sa mechanics ay, example is, uh, F is du tr, di ba? Parang ganyan lang yung tinuturo sa atin. Um, of course, this is three dimension. Pero, alam natin na yung u, actually, dip ay, ano, yung potential uh, scalar. Okay? So, in reality, in three dimension, you have to get the gradient. And, not, hindi lang siya yung gradient. It's the negative, uh, negative gradient ng potential. Okay? Uh, usually, u, v or u yung ginagamit na uh, letter or function ng potential. Okay? Example. So consider a scalar uh, R. So R is actually just a position or point in three dimensions. So you have, para mo kayan, it's just the square root of uh, sum of squares of those dimensional, uh, yung equivalent niya sa x, y, and z. So to get the gradient of R, we just need to do this particular uh, equation. So kukunin mo lang yung uh, derivative with respect to different uh, kung ano yung variable na nandun. And syempre, kung anong direction. So, i-hat uh, x, y, or z. So, evaluating the partial derivative, ito. No? So, alam natin na yung r is square root. No? Square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And to get the derivative that, uh, of uh, r with respect to x, ito rin nagawin nyo. So, since in this case, constant yung x and y. Diba? Ang variable mo ay yung 
x squared. So, magiging lang siyang x over r. And similarly, you can do the same and just may itira lang sa inyo is dr over dy, sorry, partial r, partial y is y over r. Partial r, partial z is z over r. Okay? So, ganyan lang siya. So, palitan lang natin yung mga partial derivative dito sa taas ng mga nakuha sa baba. So, magiging lang siyang ganito. So, you have uh, and kung papasan nyo, pwede na lang i-factor yung 1 over r. And if, as you can see here, ang natitira is x i e hat x plus y e hat y plus z e hat z. As you can see, sabi natin yung r is, uh, pwede na tayo mag-define ng vector r na nakaroon, may ano na siya, di ba? May unit vector. Or nag-designify kung saan direction. And you can see here, pwede natin isulat ito siya as uh, vector r. So basically, is yung gradient pala ng, ng position r is uh, equivalent to um, that vector divided by the magnitude. And kung mapapasin nyo, yung magnitude nito is the same as r, di ba? So, ang matitira lang dyan actually is a unit vector. Kung ano lang yung direction ng uh, r mo. So, ang sagot dyan is r hat. Okay? Next. So, example again. Consider a scalar potential. So, may potential tayo. Vr is 1 over r. So, itong mga ganitong class and form na 1 over r is spherically symmetric potential. Uh, I think I will discuss then kung bakit naging spherical yung mga or spherical potential yung mga 1 over r. So, for now, let's just proceed with the example. So, halimbawa, uh, to get the force, sabi natin kanina, you only need to get the negative gradient ng, ng, that, ng potential na yan. So, so, palitan lang natin. So, negative del of 1 over r. So, ngayon, obtain the partial derivative kasi partial derivative yung del. Di ba? So, to do that, pwede lang natin isa-isahin. We can have uh, partial of 1 over r with respect to x is equal to uh, one, negative 1 over r squared times partial r, partial x. Okay? So, I hope kaya yung gawin nun. No? So, um, Madali lang naman siya kunin. Derivative mo lang. And then next, you have partial 1 over r with respect to y is negative 1 over r squared. Partial r, partial y. Lastly, we have partial z. I'm oh, sorry, partial with respect to z ng 1 over r is negative 1 over r squared times partial r, partial z. Okay? Move on. Ngayon, so nakuha na natin yun. Papalitan lang natin yung uh, equation ng force. So now we have uh, this long uh, summation. So, we have yung uh, partial with respect to x, partial with respect to z, ah, sorry, y, and partial with respect to z. And kung mapapansin nyo, similar doon sa kanina, we can factor out yung uh, 1 over r squared. And matitira is ito. So, we have partial r, partial x, partial r, partial y, partial r, partial z, na nakamultiply sa respective unit vector. And kung makikita nyo, this is actually just unit vector r. Tama? Equivalent lang siya dun sa kanina. r hat. And then, so papalitan mo lang siya. Now, the force is just r hat over r squared. Or, pwede mo gawin 1 over r squared times r hat. Ito yung magnitude. Ito yung direction. Okay? Kung mapapasan nyo, ibig sabihin daw, ang force is 1 over r hat. Ah, sorry. 1 over r squared r hat. Familiar ba itong equation na ito sa inyo? So, kung hindi, this is actually similar to this equation. Okay? Usually, walang nilalagay na vector sign. Okay? Uh, pero, in, siyempre, in vector form, uh, if this is a vector, of course, kailangan may direction, di ba? Ang direction dyan is r hat. Usually, we don't need isulat yung uh, itong ganitong uh, itong r hat at sa ating force as a vector kasi yung minsan pinapasob lang sa atin is uh, ano lang, di ba? Parang opposite in yung law of interaction, di ba? So minsan hindi nyo na particular yung direction kasi you're equating two vectors na same magnitude but opposite direction. Pero in our in this case actually is this. May r hat siya dapat. Um, and mapapasin nyo, this is the equation ng ano spherical uh, bodies. Okay? Uh, kaya siya, ano din, 
uh, spherical potential yung ang source niya is actually yung potential na 1 over r okay intandaan niyo ang force is the derivative ng potential that's why you have the r squared here okay hopefully that's clear okay let's move on now after cur uh, so, sorry divergence we now uh, move to uh, type after uh, sorry after gradient, and now move to divergence. Um, ngayon, ang divergence naman is just uh, familiar na sa kayo, uh, that product. Okay, palitan ko na ng color, ng color yung ano, pencil. So, now it's uh, that, that product between the del operator and any vector. Okay? So, given a vector A, ang, da, ang divergence niya, divergence niya is uh, just this one. So, we have del dot A. So, alam na natin yan, di ba? Partial, partial, partial with respect to x, y, and z. And kung mapapansin nyo, wala tayong nilagay na directional unit vector like i hat, j hat, and uh, k hat. Kasi nga, this is a dot product. So magdadat lang dyan yung i dot i. So ba dito? j dot j, k dot k. And this are just equal to 1. So you don't need to write. And nabanggit ko rin dati, na ang divergence will result to a scalar value. Okay? Example, uh, consider meron tayong position vector r. Let's see from here. Okay? And para makuha mo yung divergence niya, just need to get the that product, di ba? So, ito yung equivalent ng del in uh, different, uh, sorry, in vector form. And then, syempre, yung r uh, given na position vector siya, it's just x e hat x plus y e hat y plus z e hat z. Okay? Ganun lang siya. And then to do that, that product, kukunin mo lang kung ano yung uh, parehas na uh, unit vector and multiply mo lang sila. So you can see here, uh, to do that, isa-isayin mo lang. So you have matitara sa is uh, partial x, partial x. Okay? And meron siya e hat dot, uh, e hat x dot e hat x. So one lang yan. So pwede natin i-drop. And then partial y, partial y partial z, partial z. And these are just 1, 1, 1. And ang sagot ay 3. Meaning, it's just a constant number. Okay? So, uh, bakit nagkaganito? Kung mapapansin nyo, um, yung pagkuha kasi ng uh, derivative, ng derivative, example, uh, kailangan natin inoto, no? Kasi bakit? Sa una, example natin muna ito. So, you have e hat x partial with respect to x times that natin ng e e hat diba? Uh, usually kasi kung hindi constant yung e hat ang mayayari dyan is magkakaroon ka ng uh, product rule sa derivative diba? pero dahil constant lang naman yan you can just ignore at ang magdadat lang ay vector diba? So, ang mangyayari dyan is magiging siyang e hat dot e hat partial, partial x and, and this is just equal to 1 at ito rin. Okay? Oops, sorry. Just equal to 1. Okay. And of course, better mo rin isang isipin na uh, dahil constant lang naman yung net vector, uh, yung derivative ng uh, with res ma, pag kinamang derivative na with respect to x, it's just zero. Okay? Kasi constant nga lang siya. Okay. That's one. So, ano ba yung mga uh, example uh, ng application ng divergence? So, halimbawa, I think, hindi ko sure pala kung naituro sa inyo yung sa fluid sa, sa fundamental physics nyo. So, for example, meron kang flow na describe ng scalar potential or sorry uh, vector potential v r okay and mayro siyang mass density oh sorry this is volume sorry flow sa volume of fluids eh okay so para amount of fluids na may mass density na rho so rho is usually mass density or um just the syempre pwedeng iba yung density di ba like particle per amount of volume Okay. So, yung flow rate niya basically is just multiplication ng uh, uh, rho or the mass density and the volume. So, 
to study yung uh, about the flow ito to study the rate of change ng mass syempre depende sa time so pwede natin siyang i-denote as uh, delta m over dt or delta t so let's say meron kang volume na ganito pasimplehin lang muna natin uh, you have this particular volume in xyz okay uh, and then syempre merong flow meron siyang flow dito na Ganyan. So, of course, yung flow naman ay iba-iba ng direction. So, let's just consider along this direction. So, you have the x, y, and z. This is uh, position. So, mayro kang volume na cube. So, delta x, delta y, and delta c. That's the volume. Diba? And kung makikita nyo, ang flow, pagbabago ng change ng mass, is rho times the volume. So, uh, of course, volume along x. So, you just have to multiply uh, volume with uh, mass density, makukaw mo yung mass, diba? So, makukaw mo yung change in mass. So, along x, to get the delta m, delta t, you just need to uh, uh, multiply, sorry, yung tumadaan na flow, yung volume, doon sa particular area. So, here we have uh, plus rho bx here. Multiply the delta y delta c. So, ito yan. Okay. That's the... Sorry, that's the surface area na dinadaanan niya. And then, lastly, we have the negative palabas naman. Rho vx times delta y delta z rin. So, ito naman yun. Same lang, di ba? And, syempre, um, yung, yung change in mass, itong rho vx natin, depends on kung nasaan siya, di ba? Kasi, yung function siya. So, you have zero the origin, and partial, uh, sorry, hindi partial, delta y over 2 and delta z over 2. So, nasa gitna kasi. So, tingkat lahat eh. Similarly, ganun din sa kabila. So, you have multiply, uh, ito. Pero since nandito na tayo, sa kabilang side, yung x may nagbago. Okay? And same pa rin. And you can treat this as a function ng delta x, delta y, and delta z. So, para siyang ganito mangyayari, uh, you can ilabas nyo yung Delta Y and Delta Z. From here. Okay? Ito yung matitira. So, you can think about it na parang function itong buong ito. Ito. Okay? So, that's very important sa susunod na ano, na dito. Makikita nyo na pwede natin gamitan ng uh, of course, calculus trick. Uh, you can multiply both uh, yung any side ng 1, di ba? And 1 pwede natin gamitin is just delta x over delta x. That's just 1. So, kung papalitan mo siya, makikita nyo, uh, pwede natin mailagay yung delta x dito. Meron din sa denominator. And recall na pwede siyang iisipin na sa function, di ba? Kung papansin ninyo, uh, sa, sa calculus, um, ang definition ng derivative is just the limit ng difference ng value ng function at certain interval with respect and divided by that uh, interval point. So, makikita nyo ba? F of delta x, y, and z minus uh, f of 0, y, z divided by that particular delta x as delta x approaches 0 is just the derivative. In our case, dahil nga 3 variables to, it's just the partial derivative. Okay? So, isipin nyo, isang function ito. So, pwede natin siya isulat na ganito. So, along x um, we have Sorry, nasusulatan kayo. Ano? Um, partial of negative uh, rho vx with respect to x. And pwede natin ilabas yung, partial, yung negative. So you have negative partial of rho vx with uh, respect to x. Since along y and z, same lang. Kasi cube lang yung ginawa natin. Example ng volume, diba? Okay? So ang mangyayari dyan, lalagyan natin isa sa contribution. Ito, ito, and this one. And huwag natin kalimutan, yung kanina, di ba, nag-multiply tayo ng uh, delta x. So, you have delta x, delta y, delta z. And this is just the volume. Tama? Noong uh, nandun. And, of course, ito, itong parte na ito ay this uh, derivative summation ng mga derivatives is just the uh, divergence ng rho v. And then multiply by volume. Okay? So, next. 
Uh, kung papansin niyo, pwede natin palitan yun ng delta, yung delta x, delta y, delta z. Pwede natin palitan ng uh, delta v. And um, you can divide both sides by delta v. Makikita nyo na you can have delta m over delta v over delta t. So this is actually a change in mass. Uh, sorry. Uh, mass and then volume, di ba? So this is ano, mass density. So per unit of time. So uh, ibig sabihin, ang mass density change or yeah, mass density change with respect to time is just the negative uh, divergence ng rho v. Okay? So kaya naging ganun siya. So palitan lang natin para mas ma-clear yung equation. And we have uh, partial rho Partial T is just negative uh, divergence ng rho V or negative del dot rho V. And this is the continuity equation. So, kung familiar kayo doon, meron tayong, kung narinig nyo na yung Navier-Stokes equation, so similar din ito doon. Okay? So, divergence describes the net flow uh, from a small volume element. So, yun yung total na flow na lumalabas sa isang volume element. So, usually kasi sa so, ganito mga klase ng problem, we have to use cal yung mga small volume element para makuha mo yung buong, um, buong change. So, that's it. Depende sa system. Okay? Manag? So, next. Punta na tayo dito naman. So, we have zero divergence of a vector field. So, ano ba ibig sabihin ng zero divergence? So, ibig sabihin yung divergence ng isang vector is zero. Uh, and that means meron kayang tinatawag na steady state flux within the region. Ibig sabihin nun, kung ano yung amount na pumasok, yun din yung lalabas. So parang sa flow nga ito ng fluid, di ba? So may mga ano kasi na system na hindi same. Okay? Pero kapag ibig sabihin lang na meron nga kinonsider na particular na area, or volume, and hindi the same yung lumalabas dun sa uh, in, in input mo, ibig sabihin hindi ano, hindi sa rin divergence. So, ano yung mga example nun? Hindi lang siya applicable sa fluid. Pwede rin siya sa ibang klase ng field. So, usually, sa physics, we study magnetic and electric fields. And others are yung mga subfluid dynamics nga. Okay? Ang example niya is sa magnetic field, electric field, and yung mga incompressible fluids. Um, example. So, meron kang dipole uh, field effect ng magnet. So, you can see, pag consider mo isa kang volume, uh, uh, noted by this denoted by this uh, square box um, or rectangular box kung ano yung pumapasok na flux, magnetic flux sa so volume na yun yun yung lumalabas so that means yung divergence ng magnetic flux to is zero and solenoidal siya so familiar kayo sa solenoid di ba? di ba nakawind yun sa dun sa met or solid uh, core ng solenoid mo so pag may dumaan na magnetic field dun so, kailangan, uh, I mean, at ang physical ano niya, description is solenoidal. Okay? And second, if you have uh, two uh, dipole electric, yeah, di sorry, electric dipole, um, and you consider some volume element depending sa position. So, here, uh, you will notice na hindi zero kasi may pumapasok dito. Hindi naman, it's usually parehas, di ba? Kasi ito, dumadaan siya sa source eh. So, yung uh, divergence ng electric field is not equal to zero. Usually, nangyayari lang yung zero kapag nandito. Okay? Uh, next. So, curl naman tayo. So, curl is just the cross product of del and the vector. So, kabalit, parang, parang siya yung ano, uh, complement ng divergence. So, curl naman, dito naman ay cross product. So, cross product siya. So, again, uh, it just you can use a determinant. So, ang curl of uh, vector A is just, sorry, ang curl na, sorry, ang divergence, cross product ng, sorry, ang curl uh, is just the de cross product ng del and vector A. So, pwede siyang uh, determinant nga, as I mentioned. So, pwede siyang gawin ganito. So, you have divergent, sorry. Ah, uh, no. Uh, you just need to get this determinant. So you have e hat x, uh, e hat y, e hat z, 
and then impartial derivative with respect to x, x y, and z. And then lastly, yung um, component ng vector mo along x, along y, and along z. Right? And to do that, I think alam nyo na kung paano man. Uh, kung one ang determinant. And ang magiging equivalent niya is ito lang. Okay? So you still have the unit vectors along x, along y, along z. And basically, it's just yung element ng uh, curl mo is just uh, differences ng partial derivative. Okay? So, example ng curl is uh, ganun din. So, ito rin lang natin example kanina. So, meron kang central potential or force field. So, you can see here. Uh, we have a yung force natin is just a uh, product ng uh, some, fu some function f with respect to position and of course, in direction is r hat, radial. So, Pag ginawa mo yung cross product nun, uh, recall lang na yung e hat nat, sorry, yung r hat natin ang vector, so yung del will act upon that, di ba? So, pwede natin isa-isa yun para mas madali. Kunin mo natin x component. So, for x component, uh, just need to get the partial derivative. So, gamitin natin yung um, yung nandito. Okay? For x component, let's follow this uh, this uh, formula. Okay? So, magigilang siyang uh, partial with respect to y ng f and then multiplied by uh, uh, z, r, c, c over r and subtracted by partial with respect to z ng uh, f times y over r. Okay? So, ngayon, since uh, you have function then uh meron kang parang product so you can do the um product rule sa partial derivative so first we have uh, z and then partial f partial y so para may alpha so okay so dito yan. and then next is just ito naman as a constant and partial z partial y Dito naman sa kabilang term, we have uh, y times partial uh, with respect to z ng f over r minus uh, f over r times partial y partial z. Okay? So, dahil uh, independent variables are x, y, and z, ang partial derivative ng z with respect to y is 0. Ang partial derivative ng y with respect to z is 0. So, mawawala lang yung dalawang yan. Matitira itong mga terms na Okay, so we will have this, uh, this uh, expression. So we have uh, z partial y times uh, partial derivative with respect to y ng, um, sorry, ng f over r. And then y times partial derivative with respect to z naman ng f over r. And um, kung mapapansin nyo rin, um, we have R kasi dito sa dinitinipatib natin, di ba? And ang kinukuha lang natin is partial with respect. Dito ay Y, dito ay Z. And R depends on X, Y, and Z. Okay? Para madali yung buhay natin at hindi na natin babaguhin yung dito or nasa loob nito, we can do something about yung partial derivative such that magiging siyang with respect to R. Okay? And using chain rule, we know na uh, to get the uh, partial derivative with respect to r, okay, um, pwede natin express ito na ganito, di ba? Ang partial y partial z is just partial partial uh, with respect to r times partial y, oh, sorry, partial r partial z. Kung makikita nyo, mga pagkinasal mo yan, babalik ka lang sa dito. So, similarly, ganun din sa, sa z. So, z is just partial, partial r times partial r partial z. And using this, Papalitan lang natin itong, itong mga to, itong dalawang to. And we'll be left with this. So, mangyayari dyan, nalagay mo. Okay? And, kung mapapansin nyo, these partial derivatives are, are quite familiar na tayo, di ba? So, we have this and this one. And recall, sa pagkuha natin ng derivative, ano na siya, y over r, kung sa z over r. 
And kung papalit mo yung values na yun dito, sa derivative, partial derivatives na yun, makikita mo na these are just the same. So meaning, zero yung curl ng uh, uh, central force uh, field. Okay? So, ang um, final expression is the uh, del cross uh, fr r hat is just zero. So, isipan nyo nga ng ano, isipan nyo ng physical significance. Bakit zero yung curl ng uh, central potential field? Diba? Usually, kamitin nyo yung concept ng uh, potential field sa around the earth. Okay? Or pwede na sa isang dipole. Sa isang ano, class, electric source. Okay? And think about kung bakit. Kasi kukunin mo yung cross product. So, yan. Okay. So, let's move on. So, ano yung mga uh, geometric interpretations? We can have, halimbawa, uh, in two dimension, we have a magnetic flux flowing at the liquid surface, parang rectangle. And, of course, syempre, mayroong change yun, di ba? So, uh, yung pag-flow niya is from one uh, here, one, two, three, four. So, yung magnetic flux, V, sorry, V, that by kung ano yung change dito sa surface na to, itong square na to, rectangular, is just the integral. So, uh, integral siya along a contour or line integral. So, kasi yung pamove siya ng paganda, di ba? Paganyan. So, mangyayari dyan, ah, uh, Component by component. Since two-dimensional lang siya, we have dx and dy. So, kung ano yung multiply mo lang kung ano yung magnitude ng flux sa, yung, yung flux sa x. Okay? And then, from 0 to 1. So, x sub 0, x sub 1. Plus yung from y0, y1, ng by, dy. And, um, tuloy mo lang yung sa integral uh, from 1 to 2. And then, 3. So, you have 3 is minus na. It's just the opposite nitong uh, 1. So you have bx, d, uh, dx. Pero yung interval mo is x1 to x0 na. And ganun din sa 4. You have from y1 to y0. Okay, so we have, uh, clearly we have uh, 4 uh, na segment na kailangan ko yung integral. Ah, sorry, yeah. Okay, so... Kung makapapansin nyo, kapag nag-cancel or hindi nag- uh, hindi nag-cancel pala yung mga contribution, uh, ibig sabihin nun, yung curl bit, uh, ng magnetic flux is non-zero. Okay? Uh, ayun, kung makuha mo na zero, ano ibig sabihin nun? Ang cross product ng ng del at ng magnetic flux ay zero. Sige nga, di ba ang cross product ay parang right hand rule? So, ibig sabihin nun, hindi mo pwedeng, hindi, hindi, ano, hindi nararotate yung magnetic flux. So, meron tayo tinatawag na irrotational. So, kapag, uh, kaya na, di ba, kapag ang divergence niya, or del dot b is zero, that's holenoidal. Kapag ang cross product ng del b, or curl, ng magnetic flux is zero, then irrotational siya. Okay? Another example is sa fluid dynamics. So, vorticity is yung parang, di ba, sa fluid pag nag, nagkaroon may mga vortices na nagpo-flow. Uh, to get yung vorticity omega, you just need to get the uh, curl ng vector potential u. So, then you just need to describe ng vector potential yung flow ng fluid. Okay. So, yun lang yung mga uh, example. So, yung del could be also pwede rin siyang i-describe using different operation, multiple operations. Parang sa derivative lang din yan, di ba? Mayroong higher order derivatives. So, yung higher order derivatives ng del, uh, pinaka best, ex na, best example na pwede natin gawin is yung second lang. So, we have del squared is just the dot product ng dalawang del. So, del dot del. And kung mapapansin nyo, uh, yung del is a unit, uh, sorry, is a vector operator. Ngayon, kung kinawa mo ang, del, ang dot niya with another vector operator, may ganila siyang scalar operator. Okay? So, equal lang siya sa sum ng tatlong partial derivatives. Tatlong partial uh, second derivatives. Okay? With respect to x, y, and z. And 
balikan natin yung rotational and solenoidal, uh, solenoidal vector fields. Uh, example, yung sa A, kapag kinuha mo ang cross product ng isang gradient is zero, ibig sabihin uh, nito is any gradient na may uh, ay may ano, vanishing curl, meaning rotational. So, ganun yung pinakita natin, di ba? Yung gradient na non-zero, uh, halimbawa dun sa uh, potential, uh, pinakita natin na rotational at pagkinuha natin yung curl niya, di ba? And another is, kapag kinuha mo naman yung curl, ito, and kinuha mo yung divergence. So, any curl has a vanishing uh, divergence Ibig sabihin ng solenoidal siya. Okay? So, hopefully, kaya nyo isipan ng example kung ano yung mga solenoidal and rotational. This is usually sa electromagnetics. Okay? Um, so, ano pa? So, paano naman? Ano ba? Kung meron kang second derivative, di ba? Anong ibig sabihin nun? So, example natin is we have this called uh, vector Laplacian or Laplacian. Ibig sabihin nun, kukunin mo na yung Laplacian na isang vector. And ang sabi natin, ang Laplacian is just a uh, scalar operator. So, ano nga ba siya? Sa so, matin siya usually nakikita. Uh, tandaan nyo yung triple uh, vector uh, product. So, you can see, uh, dahil vector naman ang del, we can play with the, uh, it and then makikita nyo na halimbawa, kinuha nyo yung curl. Okay? You get the curl of a vector A and kinuha mo yung curl ng vector na yun. Okay, that's triple product, di ba? Uh, Ikwibalit lang siya dito sa del times, normal lang ito, times uh, del dot uh, a. So, ito, mag-yield mag ito into scalar. And of course, ito ay uh, scalar times del is just a um, gradient. Tama? Minus, the other thing is income del squared a. Okay, so dito natin siya usually na-encounter. Uh, gamitan natin ang mga example para makita nyo kung saan siya nag-emerge uh, sa mga physical examples. Uh, example ng Maxwell's equations. So, lahat tayo familiar dito, I hope. Uh, Maxwell's equations describes the electromagnetic fields. Ito yung law naman sa electromagnetism. Uh, sobrang powerful ng mga equations na ito kasi uh, kung wala ito, hindi makapag-invent ng mga radio Of course, syempre, bukod sa mga parts. Pero syempre, this is the working principle kung paano nagpo-propagate ang mga electromagnetic waves. So, if we have uh, magnetic flux B and you get the divergence, zero. Okay? Hopefully, alam niyo ibig sabihin nito. Ah. Um, next, if you get the divergence ng E or electric field, you will get rho over epsilon naught. Okay? Uh, epsilon naught, It's just electric permittivity. Okay. Eh, kapag kinuha mo naman ang curl ng magnetic flux, okay, or cross product ng del at magnetic flux, you will have E naught, epsilon naught, partial E with respect to T, plus mu naught J vector. J is the current density. Okay. And to get the curl ng uh, electric field, you just need to get the negative partial derivative ng magnetic flux. Okay? Uh, so, yan yung Maxwell equations. So, imagine, electromagnetic waves ang pag-aaralan natin. So, we know na ito ay magpapropagate sa vacuum. Okay? In vacuum, alam natin, walang naman yan. It's an empty space. So, you have the density is zero. Even the charge density is zero then. Okay? Uh, charge and saka current density. So, ngayon, um, Kapag kinuha natin ang yung kanina sa example na itong ika ika apat pa to ikatlo. Okay, the third one. So we have curl of magnetic flux. Okay. Uh, to do that, we have itong e, sorry epsilon not e not partial e partial t. Pero kapag kinuha mo yung uh, another derivative of that with respect to time, magiging second derivative na. Okay? And recall na itong expression na ito is ito partial t o partial with respect to t ng uh, del cross b is just saan, saan makukuha? Uh, dito lang. Okay? 
Kasi, as you can see here, ang cross product ng uh, del cross E is um, equivalent to uh, ito. Oops, sorry. Okay. So, kung papansin nyo, um, partial derivative lang siya, di ba? So, ibig sabihin nun, pwede natin isulat ang del cross del cross E na negative partial with respect to T ng del cross B. Okay? And, balikan natin. This particular equation is equivalent dito sa nauna natin isinulat. This one. So, palitan lang natin yon. Matitira, we have uh, negative and negative, no? So, epsilon not uh, u, mu not times second derivative ng electric field with respect to time. So, uh, ito yung buong to, ah. So, tuloy lang natin. Makikita natin uh, yung triple product, di ba, para lang siyang ganito. Ito sa example natin kanina. Okay? And note na meron tayo special na quantity, yung product ng uh, E naught, uh, sorry, epsilon naught at mu naught is just 1 over C squared, where C is the speed of light in vacuum. So, sabi natin kung sa Maxwell equation, uh, itong divergence ng electric field is zero. Ama, ibig sabihin, ang zero scalar yon and kinuha mo yung kanyang gradient, zero pa rin. Okay? And ito, uh, ito lang matitira. So, we have negative del squared E. Okay? And nasold na natin ito kanina. So, ito lang din yan. Okay. So, kung mapapasin nyo, equate nyo yan in vacuum, uh, matitira natin yung expression is um, del squared E. Okay? Del squared E is just 1 over C squared times partial, second partial derivative ng electric field with respect to time. And this is the wave equation for electromagnetic waves propagation. Of course, at constant speed of light C. Okay? Nadaanan nyo na ito for sure. Uh, kung, kung, kung hindi kayo po uh, familiar, uh, since siguro baka hindi kayo gumamit ang del, dahil 3 dimension yun, di ba? It's just usually ganito lang. Sorry. Ah, uh, so derivative de and let's say with any position is just kagayon mo lang total derivative itong nandito so 1 over c squared t squared e dt squared okay so marami pa tayong mga vector identities doon so uh, you have just play with this uh, you can find an example uh, then I'll give you uh, problem set okay so tandaan nyo itong mga identities na ito and this really important lalo na kapag uh, nagsasolve kayo ng uh, mga vectors and paano gamitan ng or let's say nag-operate ka ng del next um, we have vector uh, integration um, I think this will be covered na sa second part na ng uh, 1, 2, 2. So, yung first uh, exam will just be covered yung dalawa. Yung una ko na lecture and then hanggang dito sa uh, divergence curl. I think hanggang curl. Okay? Pero bibigyan ko na kami ng introduction uh, sa so vector integration. Uh, usually, we have line integral as pinakita ko kanina. Um, for example, pwedeng meron kang scalar function P and then kinukuha mo siya yung integral niya along a certain uh, path C. Kaya may ganyan. Pwede rin dot product siya. Usually, vector, di ba? So, for example, F dot dr. Pwede rin siyang cross product. So, a vector cross the uh, position vector R. Inonote nyo lang, syempre, na yung dr mo dito is a vector. So, mayroon siyang three components. Ito, ito, oops, ayun na dito. Okay? So, we also know, syempre, kung dr ito, yung mga function natin, itong P, 
Itong F and V also depends on uh, R and X, Y, Z. Okay? And for example, yung P, uh, pwede natin kunin yung uh, derivative niya, long C. So, iisa-isa natin per component. Now, you have E hat X times integral ng P dx plus E hat Y plus uh, times integral ng P dy plus E hat Z times integral ng P dz. Okay? So, kung makikita nyo, vector yung sagot. Okay? Naliwanag yun, ha? So, yung mga ganitong integral, kailangan ma-specify mo yung pat na tinatawag natin. So, you have yung C, kung ano. Kung kaya yung example natin kaya ito ng rectangular, pwede rin siyang one direction. Okay? Uh, another example, yung kanina, kung mapapansin nyo, itong F dot TR. So, this is actually the, the expression for work. Work is defined as yung amount of force na, na ginawa mo, na in-apply mo sa isang bagay with a certain distance. Okay? So, pwede natin isulat ang work in terms of three dimension. So, you have integral ng fdx plus integral ng fdy plus integral ng fdc. Ganito na lang siya kasi that product. So remember, that product will give you a scalar. So that's why work is a scalar quantity. Okay. So, paano natin i-describe yung path dependence? Kung pamilyar kayo sa work, uh, work is actually path dependence. So minsan may ginawa sa sa object pero walang ginawang work. So, kasi nakadepende siya kung paano mo ginawa, in-apply yung force na yan. So, alimbawa, uh, ito, you have a force given by this. We have negative y, e hat x, plus x, e hat y. Uh, and then we consider this particular path. So, we have C2. So, alimbawa, dinala mo siya from 0 to this direction. Okay? So, gawin na natin madali. So, 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 then along x, y, and z. Okay, you have two possible scenario. Una, diretso mo dito. Or, Daan mo muna dito, and then pataas. So, you have this two uh, paths. So, we have parang pa diagonal, at isang pa, diretso, and then lumiko. Okay. For C1, let's solve muna yan. For C1, you only need to get the derivative with respect to uh, each variable or each direction. So, we have F, X, of course, X, Y uh, lang siya, di ba? And we know na zero yung simula niya. So, kung papalitan mo yung sa uh, ito, we have, uh, sorry, we have uh, this one, okay, highlight ko lang, papalitan mo lang, so, um, we have 0 and 1, papalitan mo na 0 and, ah, uh, ganun lang siya, okay, so, magiging 0 lang itong function na ito, tama, kasi papalitan mo yung isa ng, uh, yung x, papalitan mo ng, yung, sorry, yeah, papalitan mo ng x to. And papalitan mo ng x to, right? So we have x, and this is just the same. Okay? And that will give you zero value ng function. And ganun din sa kabila, you have dy, so yung function mo, at y, papalitan mo lang siya ng uh, 1y. So, wala kang babagoyin dito. And matitira mo is 0 and then 1. So, 1 yung integral mo along that particular direction. 1 yung value ng work. Okay? And for C2, for C2, uh, as you can see, diagonal siya, no? So, x is equal to y, that particular uh, uh, path. Ngayon, kung kukunin mo integral, just need to Ganito yung mangyayari yun. Since equal yun, di ba? So, palitan mo to ng xx. Usually kasi this is xy. Oops. Okay. And then the other one is yy. So, matitira, you have negative x dx plus y dy. And integral mo is uh, from 0 to 1 parehas. Okay. So, madali lang kukunin integral, di ba? So, we have negative x squared over 2 from 0 to 1 plus y squared over 2, 0 to 1. Palitan mo siya ng uh, evaluate mo, magiging negative 1 half. It's negative 1 half. 0. Okay? Meaning, if you do work uh, pag ganyan, 
ay yung ay nag-apply ka ng force sa isang object. At pag ganun yung uh, part na ginawa mo, yung part niya is ang work mo done is zero. Pero if you do this, ang work done niya is one. Meaning work is done doon sa ganong klase ng uh, ganong klase ng ano, ng pag-apply ng force. Okay? So, yun yung tinatawag nating path dependence. Ibig sabihin, the value ng integral na yun ay nakadepende kung paano mo kinawa. Okay? In some cases, may mga possible na, na uh, yung integral ay yung special property. Uh, Di ba? May mga ganun. Um, pero always, nakadepende ang line integral doon sa path pa rin. Okay? So, may mga iba pa pang klase na integral. Uh, meron tayong surface integrals. So, instead of uh, line na, magiging na siya sa surface. So, we usually use ds. So, s is just any surface. Pwede nyo rectangular, naka-curve na surface or kagaya nito, spherical surface. And, ganun din yung example. You can have simple multiplication ng scalar, ng vector, or pwede nyo product ng vector or cross product. And, See here, pwede natin express ang ds as, as, the, as just a product ng normal vector n hat and yung area. Okay? Usually kasi parang ganito. Kung kukuha ka ng isang area dito, di ba medyo naka-curve yan? So, para makuha mo yung ipibalan niya, we just need to get yung area, which ta, times yung unit vector n hat na na kung yung direction ng surface na yan. And that is same as ds. Okay? Bakit? Usually kasi itong da yung madali lang, like dx, dy na lang, di ba? Importante yan sa atin pagkuha ng integral. Usually, that's just yung kung anong value nito, at yung ano din. Remember this area. Okay? Okay. So, uh, mga another usual pan mga example is, halimbawa, uh, kukuha ka ng, uh, pag-aaralan mo yung flow ng uh, flux sa isang surface, usually ganun, di ba? So, halimbawa, may surface kang ganito, yan, spherical, dumaan yung V, okay, kung ano man yan, kung anong vector yan. So, dadaan siya sa S. So, you can study na, you just need to get the small surface element here. And then, of course, yung value ng V mo, yung flux na, yung flow, is the same. Okay? Uh, you also have volume integrals. So, kung makikis nyo, line, volume na, ah, sur surface, and then now, volume. So, volume usually is parang ganito lang, vector times kung ano yung volume. And usually, syempre, vector yun siya. Vector yung sagot. So, we have uh, ganito. E hat x, E hat y, and E hat z. Okay? And, of course, depende kung ano yung uh, volume, or sorry, a uh, unit component ng vector a. So, we have ax times dv, ay dv, ac dv. So, ano lang siya? Uh, vector sum siya ng integral na scalars. By scalar to, and then of course, ano siya, uh, still give you a vector. May iba-iba pa example niyan, pero ito lang muna yung nilagay ko dito. Uh, in some cases, na syempre ito kasi madali lang vector times volume lang. Uh, may mga uh, cases na um, you have to study like whole volume, di ba? Which is pwede mo i-assume as an infinitely large uh, spherical volume. So, you can deal with different things like fr times del ng isang vector times tv. So, tandaan nyo itong mga to. These are special uh, equality ng um, mga vector. And this can be proven using uh, integration by parts. So, tandaan nyo yun, di ba? Uh, medyo bidyanat lang kasi tricky siya kasi may dot tayo dito. And we also have cross product. We still have to follow kung ano yung mga rules sa cross and dot product. Okay? So, ganito lang muna siya. Okay. So, um, I think hanggang dito lang muna lecture. So, itong mga diniskasong huli is kasama na sa second part na. Hanggang doon lang tayo sa uh, curl. Okay? So, vector integration is sa second ano na parte na ng ano, class natin. So, hanggang dito tayo. Hanggang dito. Sa ngayag. Okay? So, yun lang. 
hopefully may naitulong ako sa inyo. And we will give more example. Please book an appointment din sa sa mga bukas. Pwede uma ta mga 9 or 10 or yung pinaka usual is 1:30 to 3 p.m. We can go other other time naman like mga late na pero um maganda para na along those schedule. Pero okay lang sa akin na mag ibang oras kung hindi pasok sa schedule niya rin. Okay? So yun lang muna. And hopefully may natutunan kayo. And please do consult kapag may mga ganito kung hindi kayo maintindihan. Um, yun lang muna. And stay safe. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.